Another minor breakthrough for diplomatically isolated Taiwan. For the first time, the nation is hosting a conference of the Medical Women's International Association, an institution that is more than 100 years old with members coming from 90 countries. President Tsai Ing-wen hailed the move, noting that diseases like COVID do not respect national borders and politics should not be allowed to obstruct global treatment efforts. The 32nd International Congress of NWIA is being held in Taiwan. It is the first time that Taiwan was given this honor. I'm confident that this gathering with help advance international cooperation while highlighting all that Taiwan's women, women doctors contribute to the world. Diseases like COVID-19 do not respect national borders, which is precisely why politics must not be allowed to obstruct global treatment and prevention efforts. The world faces the ravages of COVID-19 wars around the world and the devastating effects of climate change. But medical women are breaking barriers. Founded in 1919, the MWIA is not only devoted to specialised research in various medical fields, but also nurtures the career development of female physicians and scientists, even those female physicians who go into politics. Currently there are 90 member states. The Taiwan Medical Women's Association joined the MIWA in 1956, after China's counterpart organisation joined. In recent years, it has tried to push for Taiwan to be described as a region of China. Fortunately, the MIWA has never accepted this proposal. Medical circles are unyielding about this, and we've gotten even more support from other nations. I think the MWIA is very cooperative with the Taiwan Medical Association. But in the face of continuous suppression from China, which is deploying various means to do this, Taiwan should be even more united. Owing to the pandemic, the Congress was held both in person and online. The DPP's latest podcast from its official podcast channel also focused on the rights of women doctors and epidemic prevention. Other American and European countries are now even open to not wearing masks. You can go outside and have fun. Everyone has been forced into a small cage for too long. I hope the world can slowly return to normal with us. Taiwan can do it. As the nations gradually ease pandemic restrictions, Taiwan is also moving towards coexistence with the virus, in line with international trends.